Hey guys, welcome to the Facebook Live. Today, uh, we will be discussing on career related questions as I had mentioned in my Facebook group. So I'll just wait for uh, guys to join in. Just let me know if you're able to hear me. Dinesh, are you able to hear me? I see you joining. Dinesh Shetty. Uh, great to see you guys. Dinesh, Shailesh, Shurajit Daspal, Rajesh Reddy have joined. Guys, let me know if you are able to hear me in the chat box, please. Just give me a yes so that I understand that you are able to hear me. Okay, great. Thanks, Dinesh. So I'll just wait for a few minutes, uh, one, two minutes for uh, if other, others would like to join. Thanks, Rajiv, for the confirmation. So I'll be discussing on few of uh, the questions uh, that has been placed to me uh, over the past few days uh, related to uh, career uh, aspects. So, uh, and in the meantime, if you guys have any specific questions, you can place, uh, place it. On, on the chat box and, and try to uh, address those questions as well, right? Um, but strictly related to career related questions. And just wait for another uh, 30 seconds or a minute and then uh, I should be starting. Hi, Saurabh. Guys, in the meantime, if you can just let me know uh, where you guys are joining from and what you do, that would uh, help us in interacting better. Great to see Pashupati also joining. Uh, Ajay Kumar also joining, right? Rahul Singh joined. Great guys, thanks to see you joining. Right, so uh, guys, as I mentioned today, I'm going to discuss about on some career related questions, uh, which has placed by a uh, few of you in the, in the past uh, few days. And uh, in the meantime, if you feel also that you'd like to ask certain questions, you can place it on the chat box. So the first question was asked by Monica. Uh, she asked that uh, I wanted to know which field is good to start a career in finance. I'm looking for a good job in a good industry so that uh, can have a good start. Please guide me for this, right? So uh, to address this question, the first thing that comes to my mind is that uh, uh, she's first. The first sentence is uh, she's asking where to start. This is a good area to start in a career in finance. Now this is a very abstract uh, uh, question, you know, because it depends on the skill set. Uh, that Monica has, uh, what are her strengths, what are her weaknesses, this is that one can really uh, suggest, right? Uh, so I would urge Monica, if you are getting to see this video, that please uh, uh, give me more details in terms of what is your strength, which are the areas uh, of finance you have been exposed to, and where you see yourself uh, uh, getting an interest from, uh, and holding on. And suppose if you have not really exposed yourself in the different domains of finance, then it is very important for you to really get understanding on the different aspects of finance in a very practical way because what apparently uh, seems to be maybe an area of interest may not actually prop up to be an area of interest when the time actually comes, right? So uh, try to expose yourself to the different practical areas of finance. I keep on placing across a lot of short programs. So you can you can place yourself in the, get, uh, avail those programs. Uh, that helps in two ways. One is obviously to learn a lot on the subjects. And on the other end, that also exposes you to a lot of uh, uh, understanding as to whether you would be eager to be in that particular domain going forward. 
so it's better to spend some money and try to expose yourself to a certain area rather than spending getting into a domain and then spending few years and then uh, feeling that you are getting stuck in the process right so uh, that is one thing that i would like to say second uh, you said that you were looking for a good job now again the definition of good job is also very relative for me it would be obviously a package good package along with with good career prospects so i would definitely urge you to uh, keep these two things in mind obviously salary package is definitely someone you'll be looking for but please keep into uh, perspective that you would be joining uh, you would be getting more uh, skills and and you would have a defined career path so there are many jobs especially at the operation level uh, where uh, there is no very clear career path that uh, one charts on so try to be into those set of jobs uh, and industry also differs so every industry has its own set of potentialities but uh, if i would like to address uh, uh, the question in uh, just to give you a sense that uh, the set of programs that i come up with are uh, those areas where i personally believe there is a lot of job opportunities this is my years of uh, experience and and uh, in that context i see uh, areas like project finance uh, equity research uh, Trade analysis. There are th all these uh, areas are very, very uh, interesting and and uh, throws deep potentialities. But it would obviously be aligned to where your interests lie and what are your skills. So if you can just uh, let me know more about it, it would help me to answer your questions better, right? So guys, uh, in the meantime, if you would like to place any questions, please feel free to do that as well. So the second question that has come up is uh, from Emma. Uh, she says that can we do CFA after bachelor degree, and to what extent job opportunities in India are there after completing CFA or completing CFA level one or two? So guys, uh, CFA is definitely a good degree to have, uh, but then the thing is that you need to understand the practical uh, aspects of it. Uh, uh, a huge portion of the CFA curriculum is focused around uh, the equity market as well as the fixed income market. Now, as you know, fixed uh, fixed income market, the CFA program has been uh, had originated from US, right? So, uh, it is aligned to more to that uh, market. But over here in India, the fixed income market is not that uh, mature the market. So, uh, so in that context, it. Uh, from a practical learning perspective, it limits your, uh, its, its, uh, its uh, knowledge only to the areas of equity where job opportunities lie, right? So uh, CFP is definitely a good, a good uh, uh, charter to hold. But at the same time, as I keep on mentioning, you have to really align yourself at the practical level because if you're not doing that, then irrespective of whether you are uh, clearing CFA or not, uh, life is going to be uh, more difficult because as you understand in the workplace no one is going to start you start teaching you from scratch right they are not going to start uh, teaching you from uh, zero person they would uh, uh, definitely like you to have at least 60 70 80 percent of knowledge and then the final uh, hand holding can be done so uh, in this year i have read in an article that 25,000 people have sat for the cfa exam so uh, you understand the level of competition going on for people who already have a CFA or is have, going to have a CFA. So you have to make your presence fill within that uh, context as well, right? So that can only happen if you are getting to understand the practical uh, the realities around the different programs that one has, right? So this is uh, the question around uh, of HEMA. I hope it answers your question. Please feel free to write to me at arin at the rate uh, businessunplug.com. If you I just uh, put it in the chat box as well. If you guys have any question, I would uh, be looking forward to answer to your question. Please place me on the chat box uh, uh, on, on over the mail. I have placed my mail ID in the chat box, so you can definitely reach out to me. Right. The third question is. Uh, by Imam, Imam Sheikh. So uh, he writes, Hi, Arin, great. Thanks for all your posts to share. I've read all of them since day one and just there and see. Uh, thanks, Imam, for that. 
So I'm Imam Sheikh. This June I've appeared for CFL level two exam. Currently working with. I'm not stating the name of the organization where it's working. So you have done your CFA. You are an MBA in com. So I'm looking for profile change since I've cleared level one. But I'm not sure why my profile not getting shortlisted. Even though I have applied for the pressure profile, but still I am not sure why my, my profile not getting through. So, uh, uh, Imam, let me just uh, narrate as to how the recruitment process happens. So, suppose if I am uh, going uh, to uh, recruit certain guys, so what I used to do is I used to go to the HR team and used to mention the set of people that I am looking for in terms of obviously their. Uh, qualification and, and uh, years of experience and stuff like that. But at the same time, I used to uh, help them with certain keywords of that particular job role because keywords is uh, something which is very essential for the HR team uh, because they cannot go through hundreds of resumes which may not be relevant for them. So now what uh, HR team used to do is that they used to go to the Mm -hmm. uh, the different agencies with him, with uh, whom they used to have a tie up, and then they used to place the keywords over there. And uh, this is those keywords they used to uh, curate the resumes. Now, the thing is that so, uh, what I'm trying to say in a sense is that you need to have those keywords on your resume. So, that is the first thing. And second is uh, tomorrow, if you are getting a call because you're due to the keywords your resume is coming on the face of it and you are getting a call, you should be able to substantiate uh, as to why those keywords uh, are written over there. So, so basically you need to have the backend story ready as well for the for, for really getting through. Otherwise you may be called from the interview, but then you won't be able to uh, get through the, the, the interview, right? So, so the, the sense what I'm trying to place across is that please understand that every area of uh, work that where you would like to see yourself in uh, would be having those specific areas of uh, uh, keywords which you can only understand once you are uh, having experience in that particular domain. So you have to curate that. That is very important. So if you are having that, I'm pretty sure uh, you would be getting a lot of uh, responses in terms of interview calls and all, right? So please keep this thing in mind, right? So, so this is very important, right? Uh, so some uh, some person uh, asked me, uh, the person uh, I didn't get the name, uh, that what is what is uh, meant by a great career? I keep on uh, hearing that uh, what. Uh, you need to make a great career. So, what is meant by that? So, uh, so guys, uh, there are four basically uh, things that uh, uh, you need to uh, have in mind, uh, which, as per me, is the thought process for someone to really have a great career. The first thing is obviously that you have to be passionate about that particular work, about that area, and passionate to the extent that you would be eager to uh, work without money also if it's required, right? So you, you should be passionate to that extent that you are ready to work uh, and make your uh, interest felt. But this is something which may sign and sound a bit uh, uh, corporate for you because uh, yeah, I'm not suggesting that you work for free, but then it's the, uh, the love or the passion that you have for that work. If you're, if you're not able to join an organization, if you're not able to uh, make your inroads, then you should be ready to work for free also uh, if, if the situation demands, right? The second is uh, you need to see that in that nature of work, there is a improvement that is going to happen on a daily basis. So that is very critical. The third thing is that you should be getting to see that the society needs it. So whatever you are doing in terms of your work uh, is something which is really aligning the society for the long run in terms of uh, uh, what you are contributing, right? And the fourth thing is that, obviously, that people are ready to pay money going forward uh, when you will be working in that space. So irrespective of whether it is in the in entrepreneurship or whether it's in career, but these are the four uh, points that I think uh, one has to keep in mind to really make a great career.
I hope uh, uh, you, you align yourself with this as well. Right. So in the meantime, I see the Sanchit Gupta saying, sir, I'm waiting for my SFA final reason. I want to join as an instructor. What should I do? So Sanchit Gupta gathers skills around investment banking. That is what precisely you need to do. Uh, you need to go on uh, understanding the different facets of investment banking, which I have placed across with my free 24 uh, videos investment banking program and uh, where you get a sense as to what is investment banking is all about and then more and beyond to that if you want to sharpen your skills you can raise your for the other programs right but then you have to understand the subject practically as to how to build the different financial models and, uh, and i think someone's question also, also was in context of uh, yeah so someone uh, asha asha asked me uh, where is financial skill modeling skill use so uh, Asha, the thing is that uh, financial modeling skill is used in a number of ways, right? So when you are supposed learning financial modeling, that is the first step of financial modeling uh, structure that you can create. That is what is being taught. But then once you are able to understand how to build a model, then you have can or be required to build models in different areas. So you may be required to build models in uh, in the real estate space, you may be required to build model in say green for in project finance in the greenfield model, a brownfield model, or restructuring model. You may be required to build a say a equity research valuation model, uh, uh, MA model, mergers and acquisitions model, or LBO model. Uh, in real estate, there are almost uh, five six uh, different set of models: a percentage completion model, a LRD model. So there are different types of models which uh, exist and uh, which has to be something which you need to learn. So the more the different set of models that you learn to build, the more uh, level of credibility you build for yourself and the more uh, uh, probability of getting good jobs done in your way, right? So I thought of answering this uh, in this context. Right, so uh, yeah, so now uh, another question is uh, I presently work as an accounts officer in a PSU. I'm not naming the company, but not satisfied with the work that I've been assigned. I have completed BCom and CA intermediate cleared as well. Can you guide me for a nice work profile that is full of challenges and also pays me well? So, uh, uh, Sorry, I did not know that on the same. So uh, uh, the thing is that uh, investment banking is definitely one of my choice areas uh, where I have to spend my years. And, and I think this is one of the areas which is full of challenges on a daily basis. You'll be um, uh, training yourself in, in different projects, in different uh, industries, with different set of people. You get to meet the, the best people in the industry. And uh, obviously, it pays well as well, right? So, uh, so I would definitely suggest you to align yourself to this domain of investment banking, and that definitely that's that's going to be great, right? Mm, then I uh, then other person I I noted down the name here also I noted down. Sorry for that. So uh, says that hi Arin, I saw your videos over investment banking and finance areas. They were exceptionally good. I am an MBA finance and CA finance student and possess experience into accounts, audit, and tax profile. Further, I want to start in investment banking profiles and remove how should I start do I need to join the course or certifications? Do those companies hire only experienced people in these areas? How should I develop the skills by that? So as I have been mentioning, people on mentioning that you have to build skills. That's the only way out. Uh, so on one side, you are having the qualifications, whether it's an MBA, CFA, or whatever is it. So you're building the qualifications. That is something that has to go on. But at the same time, you have to also understand the skills that is placed. Uh, uh, the thing is that uh, somehow we have not been conditioned to uh, be working or gaining the skills in finance in a practical way that's something it was uh, and if there are institutions who are providing that they are very costly so so uh, that is the challenge which i see people 
placing and that is the reason as to why interval goes in terms of placing those uh, uh, skills at a very affordable price. So, so uh, I would definitely suggest you that you have to build skills irrespective of qualification. As I said, 25,000 uh, CFA people have uh, sat for the CFA exam this year. So there is competition every, everywhere. If you think that uh, post an MBA, a CFA is going to um, just help you get into a job, it's not going to do, let me assure you. So no one is, uh, no company is going to teach you from zero percent. They can teach you from 60, 70, 80 percent, right? So you have to build that probability of learning till 60, 70, 80 percent and that is uh, what you have to do, right? So uh, once you get those level of learning and once you are able to place those learnings as achievements in your resume and those keywords get reflected, then only the calls would start coming. Otherwise, it would really be difficult, I'm pretty sure. Right, so, mm -hmm. guys, anyone else has placed any question? Hi, Praveen. Uh, so guys, anyone else, if you have any question, please feel free to write it down over here and uh, try to address. Then the question comes out in and following your views and videos from past one year and very useful. Need your views on my query and a qualified chartered accountant. Having four years of experience in group financial reporting, uh, the, uh, in the company would like to pursue FRM or CFA. What would be the best for my profile uh, as I'm interested in derivatives and investment banking? So, guys, uh, if you ask me to choose between uh, FRM and CFA, I would definitely uh, ask you to go for a CFA because uh, I have my limitations in, in uh, suggesting FRA at, the, FRM at this point of time because I don't see this qualification is really taking you uh, to a broader area of risk management uh, because uh, risk management has really not stayed in terms of jobs to that extent though it's a very serious area. Uh, the, the way risk management uh, has been uh, industry in the western world that way that opportunity has not really come up the Indian market. Slowly it is gaining prominence, but uh, if you are contemplating between having CFA and FRM, do CFA first and if you at all intend to do, do FRM, you can do it later, right? And uh, the same thing goes for MBA finance and CFA, so if you are able to, uh, intending to, uh, you are not being able to decide on MBA finance and CFA, I definitely suggest you to do MBA finance first and then go for CFA uh, along with jobs. So please don't do CFA just sitting uh, back at home is not really going to help you that way, right? So that would be my pieces of suggestions. Uh, then the last uh, question, as I see, uh, is that uh, uh, I said, what skills are required to get job in investment banking? Can I please uh, go through this video? I have been speaking about that uh, from the very start. So uh, the other question is, my name is Raju Gajula, I'm an MBA finance graduate, now I'm working in some bank and well. I'm interested in where what will I do this? So, so it, uh, again, the same question, interested in investment banking. Please understand that investment banking uh, has four sections to it. The first section is all about fundraising. The second is on mergers, acquisitions and uh, transaction advisory. The third is investment analysis and the fourth is your wealth management. So in fundraising, uh, you can raise funds, you can help uh, be an investment banker and help companies raise funds through two ways. One is through the equity route, the other is the debt route, right? So uh, in context of equities, what you need to understand is uh, uh, you're, you need to be building knowledge around financial modeling, valuation, uh, private equity, venture capital, and uh, the aspects around Excel in finance, those are the areas where you need to build your interest and, and knowledge and skills. And on the debt side, uh, and to just uh, give you a heads up that debt market is a trillion dollar market and uh, equity market is a billion dollar market. So uh, please take cognizance of the debt market as well because uh, that's a huge potential area and uh, uh, it, it somehow gets uh, uh, not really in the limelight uh, as the equity market, but then the potentiality is really huge. And for the debt market, you need to have understanding about credit rating, credit analysis, 
uh, real estate financing, project financing, and stuff like that. Uh, as for mortgage acquisitions and transaction advisory, you need to have understanding of due diligence. You need to have understanding around uh, uh, your mortgage acquisition sale PO. And in case of investment analysis, you need to have understanding around equity research, uh, your uh, technical analysis, and fundamental analysis. Right? So, guys, you have to get this set of skills. So, uh, obviously, start with the set of skills where your interests lie and then build on. Or if you are trying to make keep your probabilities high in terms of getting opportunities, so then expose yourself to all the areas which I have just mentioned. So that is a better way of looking into it. Right? So uh, uh, Praveen Divakar says, Sir, I'm working in banks in the last 11 years. So okay. now I want to pursue higher education and I'm confused to do MBA for foreign university or for CFA or for economic services for career improvements. So, uh, Praveen, uh, 11 years, I think, is uh, already a huge experience that you carry. And uh, I really don't suggest, uh, uh, can you just uh, tell me which area of uh, banking you are working for for the last 11 years? That will help me to suggest as well. Right. So, uh, guys, these are the few questions which I had jotted down to uh, a place across so if you guys also have any questions please please uh, feel free to uh, jot down over here and uh, or else you can uh, send me a mail at arena the red business .com, which i uh, mentioned in the chat box as well so uh, I, I definitely try to reply to those set of questions that you have right so uh, just wait for a few uh, seconds and minutes uh, for you guys. Uh, if you have any question, you can place it across. Uh, I see some hesitancy in some individuals really not uh, stating their questions over here. They feel more comfortable doing that over email, so that is absolutely okay. Uh, but nothing to hesitate. We all are uh, in the same uh, domain, right? So we, we can definitely place our words out here and try to place words in the forum that will only help you uh, in your career. So uh, you have to speak out in different forums. So you cannot go ahead till the such time you always feel that what will people think and stuff like that. Don't let that at least stop you from asking questions. Uh, yeah, Robin, so I'm waiting for your reply. If you can, okay, in retail and you know, corporate finance, okay. Praveen, at this juncture with 11 years of experience, I won't suggest you to go for a CFA or FRM at all. Uh, I would uh, suggest you if you can do an executive MBA or uh, uh, like the executive full-time MBA as you have in and so on. Or you may, uh, uh, if you are intending to do uh, higher education at a foreign university. But then the question remains, suppose that foreign university, whether uh, they would have job placement facility over there or not. In the European countries, they don't have in America, they may have, but then you, you are quite at the higher side of the age bracket. So you have to have very clear understanding around that because post the, uh, I've seen many people who has done such programs, but again, they are falling back to the same type of job what they have been doing uh, after coming back. So keep that perspective in mind. And there's no point uh, starting with CFA or FRM at this juncture because uh, you've only spent too many years uh, in this retail loan. And in retail also, there is a huge opportunity. So uh, uh, the business is only growing. So no worries on that front. You can uh, think about FinTech. So you can uh, do some qualifications around FinTech uh, because retail and FinTech is really uh, 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 close. and. Uh, can then start, uh, think about doing something in the fintech space. We, I say this because you already have the domain experience. 11 years is a long time for you to have a domain experience which is in the retail space. And along with that, if you gain the fintech knowledge, then in fintech companies and all that can be a very good uh, opportunity. And they are looking for people who are having good domain expertise along with some tech, bit of technical knowledge. 
right? Does it answer your question, uh, Praveen? Just let me know. Vinay Kishore, uh, sir, currently I'm working as CA firm in accounting and tax. I feel want to know which area process is more pro preferred to join in IB. Uh, Vinay, nothing of that sort. As I said, I um, I never speak about the operational roles because that's not where my interests lie. Uh, I am more interested in discussing about those areas where uh, uh, the coveted job roles are. And in that context, I have mentioned about uh, the different areas already and in and around the investment banking, uh, which on uh, which you have to make focus on. Uh, so, so uh, you can hear it once I uh, end this uh, live video. You'll find this in my uh, Facebook group, so you can uh, hear it on if you have joined there, right? So there's nothing like which area of process is more preferred. Uh, it depends on where your interest like That is where opportunities are going to be. Uh, Hello, sir. Can you please suggest the book or channel which investment matters in the first session for this healthcare sector? Nothing of that sort, Gautam. I at least don't know uh, which investment books they refer for uh, healthcare sector. They generally don't do something like that. It's only basis their experience of handling uh, uh, healthcare projects. That's how that knowledge gets uh, extended. So, like I keep on mentioning that I have uh, been instrumental in consulting almost for. 1500 projects in uh, India and abroad. So, out of those 1500, maybe uh, 200 have been into textile, uh, uh, maybe uh, 100, 150, maybe steel and uh, uh, iron and steel industry, uh, say 100 odd in the healthcare. So, the more number of projects you handle in a particular uh, domain, that's how you get the experience. It's not by reading books, ideal. Right? Thanks, Ravi. So, uh, does anyone else have any questions uh, to ask? Uh, please feel free to ask me at this juncture. So, uh, yeah, so do teach financial modeling as I'm working for the finance skills in accounting. Yeah, so uh, I do teach financial modeling. You can refer to vitarin.com for the different programs I do. Right, so it's like that. And, uh, so one good thing, sort of, we are already working in the project finance domain. So, uh, what exactly is your work? Uh, is it that you are working on project finance models and all? Are you building project finance model, project project uh, reports and all? Sort of. Thanks, uh, Gautam. Thanks, Vinay. Guys, my underline this thing which I've seen very closely and where I see people making a major mistake is that they think that I have the qualification, I'll get a job. But that's not going to happen. Believe me, trust me, not this. It's only that once you have the skills aligned with your qualifications, then only you get the job. Like the way uh, you prepare for IIT, and then you get an entrance into IIT, right? So uh, it's not the degree that's going to uh, help you. That's definitely would be one of the criteria that you would be required to meet. So I never say don't have degrees or don't have qualifications. I also carry four qualifications in my name. But then, other than those qualifications, you need to have understanding as to how practically a model is done. How practically a report is placed. So uh, the good thing about finance is that either it would be a financial model or it would be a report or it would maybe a PPT presentation. So that is something that you can carry in your laptop to uh, the interview uh, when you're going for interview and then showcase the work. So the, uh, uh, the more you are able to showcase your work, the more better opportunity you will be having for yourself going forward. So, Try to always keep that uh, aspect in mind. That will help you. So, guys, I don't see anyone else asking any questions. Uh, uh, 
so and and i have also uh, gone through the set of questions that i have to place across so uh, so uh, shall i call it a day today or uh, would you be sending me more questions i'll just wait for another more minute and, and see through if some question comes up or else i'll, I'll I'll close it today and again come back with this fresh set of questions which people have in our Facebook lab. Just let me know does does it help guys? Uh, did it help uh, to address few of your uh, okay? So Praveen has mentioned sir nowadays we are listening about artificial intelligence. What will be scope in financial sector for the future and in solution? So Praveen, this is the fact that uh, I have uh, like the way I uh, practice finance. I have not practiced uh, uh, things around uh, AI or uh, data science and stuff like that. But I hold uh, 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 qualification around postgraduate diploma in data science. So this is the that study that I have done. I have understood that there are three broader legs to this sort of a study. One is you have to be having uh, total understanding around a particular domain. So suppose if you are in the domain of finance, you need to have understanding around finance very well. If you are from a marketing domain, you need to have a marketing understanding very well. If you are from a supply chain domain, you need to have supply chain understanding very well. So, so one is the domain expertise that uh, you require. Secondly is your understanding around statistics, right? You need to be very good in statistics. Uh, and the third is you need to be uh, uh, getting skills around programming. Right. So uh, the generally it has been seen that uh, it's, it's very hard to find a person who is equally competent in all the three legs. Uh, domain expertise, uh, uh, your uh, statistics and your programming. So generally you find people with two exposures. Right. So guys uh, of your nature, you uh, of your experience, uh, uh, I would suggest that please build the at least one very well that is women expertise so have great knowledge around finance because I presume that you guys all come from, uh, from finance and uh, from this background so have that domain expertise built up and the other two areas statistics and uh, programming that I leave it to you if you feel that you are confident or your abilities or likings are towards that direction then you may possibly think about building a career in that context. Let me know, Praveen, if it answers your question. Sushma Shah, okay. Sir, I'm an MBA first year student. I'm interested in finance, but my friends are saying it is tough. Is it so? Moreover, I'm interested in investment banking. How can I start to make a career in investment banking? Sushma, please don't hear your, your friends. Uh, friends are good, friends are for life. Uh, I totally respect that. But then uh, uh, you are an individual, right? You have your own likings, strengths, and weaknesses. Uh, I would suggest that you, if you, are good with numbers, then only go uh, to make a career in the domain of finance. Uh, if you're not good with numbers, then obviously finance may be tough for you. So that is something that I need to do. Vibor uh, writes, I, as I'm a CA, uh, I want to enter into finance field, particularly valuation. What would be your advice as to which course should I do after that and where to start? So Vibor, uh, if you want to be into a work which is now valuation also is required in various contexts. You know, you, are, you may be doing equity research valuation, you may be doing a mortgage acquisitions valuation. So, valuation also has its own uh, different uh, domain areas where this skill is used. But if you are uh, asking for the first step, then I would say you have to first build your uh, uh, understanding around financial modeling. And once you build your financial modeling uh, understanding, then you may go into the valuation part of it. So first build your scheme in financial modeling and then do business valuation, right? Thanks, Praveen. Yeah, thanks, Shushma. Like this, uh, uh, anyone else has any question? Uh, just jot down over here, then helps me to answer. I'll just wait for a minute if anyone is typing out and uh,
I see many people uh, getting confused in terms of whether they should be making a career in data science because that is where the opportunity lies or shall make a career in finance. So I, I suggest always that okay, make a have a total understanding on the domain because that will help you in both the sides, whether you are trying to make a career in finance or in data science, right? Then uh, obviously uh, once you have made that strong, then you can venture out into the other side of data science. Uh, try to see whether you like it or not because uh, it's, it's not always about the opportunity, but uh, what you'd be getting into, you have to spend 30, 40 years of your life or career, right? So uh, be very uh, clear about where you want to see yourself in forward. There's no, uh, that's the reason I have also exposed myself in data science, right? So, but then, I ensure that uh, my finance uh, base gets really strong before I uh, see into other areas. Uh, may I know when you start the next batch of financial analysis course? Uh, Vijay is uh, starting from next batch is starting from uh, 14th of September. Right? Uh, Anyone else, uh, guys, if you have any question, you may place it across over here. I'll wait for another minute because uh, people are jotting down questions, so it takes some time. Finance is a very interesting field, uh, guys. Uh, and, and, uh, Nothing has really happened in the domain of finance to that extent. Uh, very frankly speaking, there's miles and miles to go in terms of what can possibly be ventured out and, and be done in the domain of finance. It, these are just the baby steps that we are getting to see, uh, and, and there's huge opportunity out there. So it's only that you build the skills. Uh, uh, it's only see. Uh, try to understand why HR in organizations, in, if you work. Uh, in some organizations, just speak to the HR team and you would understand in what level of pressure they are in. Now, why uh, they are in such tremendous pressure? Uh, for them, recruitment should be easy. There, is so much, there are so many people in, in, in India, right? Uh, but then still they, they are hard pressed because of the fact that they don't find people who are really uh, having the right skills. So that's the challenge. So, uh, Girish, uh, uh, hi, sir. Whenever you are making webinars, kindly upload the recordings. Uh, webinars, webinars, recordings would be, uh, uh, Girish, I don't want to bother everyone uh, with the webinar recordings. I just only want to reach the people who are interested to join my own. That's besides the reason I don't want to bless it. Uh, I do not want to share the recordings. That is only for people who are interested in a specific area. They can make time. That is the set of people I'm trying to reach to. Right? Uh, thanks, Anshu, for the advice. I'll speak to you later. Uh, uh, IFRS course, Pravin, uh, this is a good course. This is a good skill to have. IFRS, if you are uh, having interest uh, in that domain. So, But I think Pravin, you are the guy who is having uh, the retail experience of 11 years, right? I'd still not suggest you to go for IFRS. It's more for people who are strong chartered accountants and have good call for accounting standards and all. If their interest and experience lie in that, those areas, it's good for them. Right? So, uh, guys, uh, any more question? Shall I wait for another minute or so? Right, yes, so I don't see any further questions coming up. So, uh, guys, thanks for joining the uh, uh, Facebook Live today and uh, 
I hope I could add some value to you. So uh, we'll catch up again uh, next uh, next time. Uh, I, I'm intending to do more of Facebook Live and trying to address the questions because I getting I'm getting to see a lot of questions coming up and individually it gets very difficult to type out and reply to all the queries of uh, and there are many queries which are uh, overlaid, right? So I thought of this to, to be the a good medium to reach. Right, so uh, good night, guys, and, and thanks for joining. And see you. Okay, some more questions. Okay, yeah, from India. Chaitanya sir, provide we we want CFP course and opportunities. Uh, Chaitanya CFP uh, certified planning. If you want to be in the wealth management space, uh, then then that's good. But then um, you should have that flair of uh, sales and marketing. You have, should have the flair of reaching to people and explaining them as to how financial planning is. Uh, to be very frank, uh, uh, CFP I've been following from the very first day when it came to India. But then it's almost 20 years, but still such time I don't see um, people uh, don't really intend to share their financial uh, challenges uh, uh, or, or uh, they don't seek for financial advice as the way they seek their medical advice you know uh, though the uh, thing was uh, again uh, this is also a certification which has come from uh, the global market uh, from from US, from the us side so there the i should say the practices are different there the outlook is different but this has not really come up in india to that extent at this point so Chaitanya, I hope I have I have uh, addressed your question, right? Just wait for another thirty seconds or something. Drop up or else we'll call it a day. Okay, so more. Well, what are the opportunities in for CA? CAIA, I'm not sure the age, which is this course, CAIA. Uh, Sami, I uh, I don't want to make this a place where I am discussing about my courses. I keep on uh, posting about my courses in the group and the mails. Uh, but still, if you are interested, I will just refer to www.vitanim.com and you can have a look at the different courses I, I offer and the different uh, factors uh, that goes along with them. Right? Uh, Thanks, Chaitanya. So, so guys, thanks a lot for joining and have a good night and, and see you other, some other day, right? Thanks a lot.